Alright, what is up? What's good? The Wolf is here with another Let's Talk video. This one is going to be on Marvel's Avengers Embrace Your Powers new trailer that just came out. So uh, I can already see Thor's looking a little bit different. Um, this one, from what I've seen, I've seen a small little tidbit on Twitter when I was uh, checking, it, checking out the feed. Um, I guess there's some alternate costumes going to be in Marvel's Avengers for the pre-order bonus. So... Uh, let's check in, check out, and see what all that is about. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. PlayStation Marvel Crystal Dynamics. Hulk. Very that mad. is an entrance. I was just some weird kid from Jersey who didn't fit in. The kid isn't human. We did this, and she needs your help. People believe in the Avengers. We can't just sit around and do nothing. Ambiguous! Elastigirl? <laughs> okay. Good isn't the thing you are. It's the thing you do. Beta access. What? Whoa. For the legacy costumes. Play the beta first on PS4. I plan to. Um, okay, let's uh let's let's do this. Let's do the thing. Let's uh let's go slow mo on the playback. Playback, slow mo, here we go. Um, pick out all the little details, figure out all the stuff. So Marvel, of course, um, Carrying on the momentum that Marvel Spider-Man has uh, going. Crystal Dynamics, uh, we've seen over the years tons of, of great games come from that studio. Uh, if it's the same developers, who knows. But uh, Bruce Banner going all green, getting all angry. Of course, turning into the Hulk. Kind of looks like the uh, the movie, the Hulk. Which is alright. Um... So Thor looking uh, very, I think this is more or less his comic book look. Uh, he has uh, dinner plates all over his chest for some reason. There's chest plate for some reason. I don't, I, I don't really get this look, but uh, sure, it's Thor. Um, he is from uh, from another realm, so they have different uh, armor for different situations. Uh, it's Iron Man looking very Iron Man-y. Uh, it's great to see that you know Tony Stark is alive in, in one universe. And again, that's the hero gig. Part of the journey is the end. What am I even tripping for? Everything's gonna work out exactly the way it's supposed to. I love you 3,000. <sighs> Anyways, as we go on, uh, we go over to Black Moon. No, we're not, no, no. It's a new girl. The new girl to the scene, uh, which we have not seen in any movies or anything. Um, she is from the comic books, for sure. I have no idea who she is because I don't follow the comics very, very closely. I just, I've seen a lot of the movies and everything. Uh, maybe, maybe she's not even from the comics. Maybe because they, he's saying that we made this. Um, so maybe she is newly introduced in, no, because she has a legacy outfit. Uh, which which is shown at the end of this trailer. So she's definitely from the comics. Um, definitely a new new one for the MCU universe fans that have only watched the movies and played the games and not actually don't know who the hell she is, like me. Uh, but she looks pretty cool. I mean, she's very stretchy. Uh, it's very reminiscent of Elastigirl. Girl. That's very big hands. <laughs> I mean, Captain America is the ultimate disc thrower, so <laughs> uh, he 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 literally throws a frisbee. That's his superpower, and is very strong, and and is way too handsome. And Tony Stark wants to punch him in his handsome face. Uh, Bruce, 
looking like a buff nerd, which is actually really funny. Um, so gameplay wise, so she's going to be, she looks like she's going to be kind of like the, the Spider-Man of the game. Um, that this looks so weird. <laughs> Uh, Thor with that combo. Hello. Air juggle combos. Yes. And of course, the ultimate of frisbee throwers. That looked really kind of jank. <laughs> In slow mo. Wow. Um, that freaking frisbee came back. Let, let's just watch this one more time. So, this, this Thor combo looked pretty good. That looked pretty good. This just looks. Dink, dink, bink. It comes flying back around and, and it like smacks the first guy in the head. It pauses midair and then go his foot goes through the guy's face, hits the frisbee and uh, the shield frisbee. Um, it looks like a freaking frisbee and then smacks the other guy. That's it's kind of a jank animation, but okay. Um, you probably feel like a badass. <coughs> We're gonna edit that out. Um, but uh yeah yeah you probably feel like a pretty big badass playing and then hulk's just smashing everything black widow looking great uh has kind of the um oh god oh oh no oh we're just gonna we're gonna edit all of this out um but yeah black widow has kind of that that uh, nero from devil may cry kind of combo with it with the grapple hook gameplay Zip and back flip and the, is the combo just not ready to show off yet because she did like one move, not a half of a move. Iron Man just going flying through also. So legacy costume. She's definitely from back in the 70s, that looks like. Iron Man doing a little flip a dip a doo. And then going to go fly up into the air and look very anthemish, which I really hope that he does look kind. Uh, he, uh, my biggest hope for Iron Man is that he flies like the like Anthem as soon as it had the flight controls down packed. Anthem was actually a really good, um, it, it had the really good flying aspect to it, and going from like a standstill to shoot up into the midair and then poof, and go. Uh, that was one thing that Anthem did really well. Uh, you could just, you know, it's it's like, like one or two button presses, and you just, poof, 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 and you're and you're flying. If not, then you could also just, you know, hit like two two button presses, whoop, ram to there, and you know you're firing. So it'd be, choo, choo, choo. Um, using the missile, you know, launch the or the missile, the lock on missiles. There we go, uh, and all that stuff. Yeah. Anthem, just just copy what they did with, if not do it better, of course, um, but copy the same kind of um, style, I guess, and and the ease of doing everything, the movement ease and everything. Uh, so Thor, which I mean, this this looks like you're pretty much going to do. Although this uh, this looks cinematic, but definitely if Anthem shows us anything. That camera angle and everything can absolutely be done uh, in flight. So this is a so that was a different uh, right here. So this looks like a different yes. This is def definitely a different costume. So multiple costumes per character. That's kind of cool. Uh, she got that. So Black Widow with this little low kick right here, where it's sending the robot flying up and doing. Doing a little twirly toilet bird spin. Uh, just it's telling me that Black Widow is gonna be very powerful. I feel like Black Widow is more believable if she's vulnerable. Um, if she but powerful but vulnerable, if if that makes any sense, where if she kicks a robot, she's not going to flip the robot in midair. She's gonna push herself back. Like if, if she does like a drop kick to a robot, it's going to push the robot back f like a step or two. She's going to go flying backwards, you know? So, so she's not like all power. She's not like Superman powered, you know? She's, um, she's just a regular woman with a bunch of gadgets, kind of like Batman, I guess. Uh, so I don't know. Eh. Thor. Con okay. He's so he's, looks like he's trying to turn on the generators to get the ship flying back again before it crashes in New York. 
In Yark? In York. That was, that was a cool way of saying that. Uh, 9 4 2020. We got a ways. We got a ways to go. So it's it's not surprising that we're not seeing a ton of new stuff. So here we are. Uh, Bruce Banner looking very green. So they're going like an old, like the old movies. Um, that, well, no, the, the old comic book green. I think all these are actually comic. <gasps> That's War Machine. Oh shit. We can play as War Machine. I just noticed that. Cool. Um, the all black suit. Yes, this is absolutely comic book looks. Uh, some of these were also available in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And uh, so I'm wondering if she's in the picture. I'm wondering if how many other characters are actually going to be showing up in this picture. I mean, you, we could fit like four more characters on the side. Be interesting to see just how they go. We did see this outfit in one of the movies, I'm pretty sure. Uh, again, why does he have like blue cups everywhere on his suit? What? What? Why does Thor look like that? I'd never gotten that look. Why is that a thing? War Machine looks like a big old black tin can, um, or or silverish, blackish, grayish, gunmetalish tin can uh, with with like the gold eye. It looks that's War Machine. <laughs> uh, and. Yeah, this was uh, this definitely this outfit was a hundred percent in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, it's along with I, no, I seen this Captain America outfit somewhere. I can't remember where. Um, but yeah, yeah. Overall, I I, I like it. I like it. Um, I like I like what I'm seeing. Even if, even if this game turns out to be kind of like quick time of any, um, and it's more like a cinematic. Uh, like a cinematic adventure than, than like a full fledged like combo driven video game I'm still there because I just I like the world and I like the uh, the I don't know I like the storyline of the Marvel Avengers the whole thing just you know just like anybody else that's a fan of the MCU so I don't know this is interesting can't wait to see even more of it we got a ways to go it is uh, it is out there's a beta also, so I got so we pre-order to get in on the beta. Uh, greatness awaits. Yeah, pre-order now for beta access. So if there's a beta, that means there is multiplayer, like co-op. I'm, uh, I think yeah, 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 yeah. This one has like co-op in it and everything. I'm thinking that beta is just going to try and sell this game even more. It's like going to be one of those giant you know, like demos. Um, Maybe maybe it'll even be turned into a one shot demo, just like Resident Evil did. I don't know, but nine four they got a ways to go for working on this. Um, it's looked it looks good though. It looks good for for what's here. So um, I just can't wait to see like f more full on. So here's ah, actually this is a good this is a really good point. So that like leak that happened around the E three time of actual regular gameplay footage made this game look way better just seeing like full-on gameplay footage than all the mm, than all the cinematic camera work and everything else um that we've seen especially you know the cinematics are cool but show us the full-on regular gameplay because that is what we're going to be doing that's what's going to be selling us on why should we care about this game i think that sh the next trailer for this game needs to be way more of that gameplay footage right there that that makes me want to get hands-on with this. I want to do some cool combos. I want to run through the ship that's blowing up. I want to blow up a bunch of robots and everything. Uh, I want to use the powers, embrace the powers at B, and and yeah, I I want to do that stuff with with the cool with the cool combat and everything. So, and I want to play this beta. When when can we play the beta? You tell me. When can we play the beta? Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see ya next time.